Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the design procedure of one-way slab using working stress method. So first thing is uh, step 1, permissible stress. So we have to take the permissible stresses. So permissible stresses, uh, we refer the code book of IS456. So IS456 code, num code page number 81, table 21, we can take the sigma CBC value. So that is for concrete. Okay. So then stress for uh, steel. So that is, uh, we can refer the page number 82 in table 22 in IS456. Okay. So after that, you can find out the M value. So M value, the formula is 280 divided by 3 into sigma CBC. So sigma CBC we know from the code book. Okay. After that, we can uh, find out the K value and the J value. So K value, the formula is 1 divided by 1 plus sigma ST divided by M by sigma CBC. Okay. So after that, uh, we can find out the J because uh, for find out the J, we need the K value. So 1 minus K by 3. So that's a uh, so that's its a value so after that we can find out the q so that is sigma cbc divided by 2 into k into j okay so uh, using these formulas we can find out the permissible stresses okay so after that uh, we can uh, assume the thickness of the slab so thickness of the slab uh, uh, generally we assume the 130 mm or 150 mm so after that uh, the we assume the effective cover of 20 mm okay so usually uh, we assume the cover 20 mm for slab then 30 mm for beam then 40 mm for column then 50 mm for foundation okay so after that the effective depth so effective depth is overall depth minus effective cover okay so we can uh, find out the depth okay so for example so this is a slab so these are the reinforcements okay so this is a total depth then it's a cover so this is a effective depth okay so step three is a effective span so effective span should be the at least of the following two so the first one is uh, the clear span plus without the support then uh, clear span plus effective depth so uh, whichever is max minimum value so we can take the uh, effective span okay so then step four is load calculation so there are three loads so first one is self weight then uh, live load then uh, floor finish so self weight uh, first uh, we can assume the unit weight into uh, the b value is uh, thousand into overall depth okay so the kilo newton per meter because this is kilo newton per meter cube so the meter and meter will be cancelled. So the meter square will be cancelled. So the kilonewton per meter. So we usually we can take the unit weight of concrete is 25 kilonewton per meter cube. So then live load. So the given values are uh, we can assume for residential 2 to 3 kilonewton per meter. Then public buildings uh, we can assume 5 kilonewton per meter. So then floor finish we assume 1 kilonewton per meter. So the total load we can add uh, all those things. So self weight of slab plus live load plus floor finish. So after that we can find out the bending moment and shear force. So bending moment, so we uh, assume that the simply supported beam like that. So we can uh, use the formula M equal to W L square by 8. So the L is effective span. Okay, so W is uh, load from the uh, calculation. So then, uh, so we can get the moment in kilometer meter. Okay, so then VU W L divided by 2. So that we can uh, get the value of kilonewton. So then check for depth. So uh, we assume the depth. So we have to check whether the assumed depth is uh, safe or not. So the depth is, uh, we, if you know the formula Q is equal to M B D square. So the depth required is uh, root of M divided by Q into B. Okay, we can substitute uh, the values and uh, we, we got the depth required. So whichever the depth is provided is uh, more than that of depth required. Okay, so the slab is safe against depth or not, we can find out. So if case uh, the depth is not sufficient, so we have to increase the depth and uh, do the process again. So next thing is uh, steel reinforcement. So the main reinforcement, so we know the formula AST equal to M by Sigma ST J into D. So we can substitute all the values over here. So we got the value of mm square. Uh, the area we we got the area. So now the assume eight um, eight or ten mm dia bars. So then area of steel. So pi into d square over by four. So we got the one uh, bar area. So then spacing of bars as over by ast. So the ast is uh, we provided ast. Then as is one bar ast uh, divided into 
thousand. Okay, we got the spacing. Okay, so assume the value less than the octahedral spacing. That is, uh, if three thirty mm, so we assume three hundred mm. Okay, if uh, four forty mm, we are four twenty mm, we assume four hundred mm. So then distribution reinforcement. So if given uh, Fe four one five or Fe five hundred steel, we can use. So the Uh, value is 0.12 percentage. That is 0.12 divided by 100 into BD. Okay, so B we assume that thousand. Okay, so otherwise uh, the given value of uh, uh, steel is Fe 250. So the percentage of uh, distribution reinforcement is 0.15 percentage. That is 0.15 divided by 100 into B into D. Okay, so next thing is uh, we assume the 8 mm or 10 mm dia bars for the Distribution reinforcement. So again, we find out the one bar EST. After that, we can find out the spacing. So spacing uh, is the same formula. So we can use uh, for the uh, main reinforcement. So the spacing AS divided by EST into thousand. Okay. So assume the less value uh, obtained as uh, uh, we assumed in main reinforcement. So next thing is check for C O. So tau V equal to V U by B D, so B is uh, again thousand. So we got the value of tau V. So next thing is uh, we can uh, take the K C and tau C value. So K C is uh, in the code book page number seventy two, class number forty point two point one point one. So we can take. So the K into tau C value is uh, greater than of T V. So that is required. So now P T equal to so percentage of C R reinforcement. So so hundred A S T divided by B D. So tau C value. So from the code book page number. 23 table 19 we can obtain so now we know the k value and tau c value and the tau v value okay so when whenever the k into tau c is uh, greater than of uh, tau v so the slab is safe against shear okay so after that detailing so reinforcement detailing we can provide so this is the uh, this is a slab so this is a clear span then this is effective span so then uh, this is effective depth then this is overall depth so we can uh, provide the dia bars of uh, spacing and the distribution also okay so this is the design procedure for one way slab so again we will see next video thank you